Have you ever wondered about the journey of those sweet, juicy peaches from the farms of the United States? Today, we're uncovering the secrets behind the vast peach orchards, where billions of peaches are planted, nurtured, and harvested each year. With over 620,000 tons of peaches produced annually, and California accounting for 81% of the nation's output, this journey is more than just agriculture. It's a story of dedication and modern technology. Let's dive into this surprising journey right now. The journey of growing peaches at American farms typically begins in late winter or early spring, as vast fields come back to life after the cold season. Farmers plant about 142 peach trees per acre, aiming for an ideal tree density to optimize sunlight and nutrient absorption. Right after planting, the tops of the young peach trees are trimmed to focus nutrients on developing the roots and trunk, creating a strong foundation for future harvests. Each peach tree requires about 1 to 1.5 inches of water daily throughout its growth, with careful irrigation to ensure they're neither water-stressed nor overwatered. Peaches typically take 3 to 4 years to mature and reach their first harvest. With yields up to 12,000 pounds per acre at large farms, peach production in the U.S. can reach thousands of tons annually. In early spring, as new buds emerge, farmers apply pesticides to protect trees from pests, especially sap-sucking insects that can harm tree health. This step is crucial for robust growth, especially as trees begin flowering in late February and early March. As spring arrives, peach blossoms burst into bloom, creating a stunning scene. Who here loves to see peach blossoms? At the time when peach blossoms bloom, farmers prune branches and flowers, retaining only about 60% of the blossoms to control fruit density. This process ensures the peaches reach the best size and quality for harvest. Each year, over 2,000 workers from Mexico and Guatemala are hired to assist with pruning on California peach farms, earning an average wage of around $13 per hour. After pruning, millions of honeybees are brought in to pollinate the peach orchards, with rental costs ranging from $150 to $200 per hive. This step ensures natural pollination and supports strong growth for a bountiful harvest. Every small detail in the care process is meticulously carried out so that each peach at harvest meets the highest quality standards, fulfilling consumer expectations across the U.S. After about 100 days, the peaches are finally ready for harvest, marking the busiest time at the farms. Would you like to visit these peach orchards and pick fresh, ripe peaches yourself? Imagine holding a perfectly ripe peach in your hand, taking a bite and savoring the sweet flavor melting on your tongue. Peaches have soft, delicate skin and are easily bruised, so they are harvested by hand. Each year during harvest season, around 5,300 workers from various places come to peach farms across the U.S. to pick the fruit, earning between $11 and $16 per hour. The image shows the bustling activity at a peach farm in Yakima County, Washington. Currently, the state has around 2,300 acres dedicated to peach cultivation, with an average yield of up to 12,000 pounds per acre. According to USDA statistics, in 2021, up to 91% of peaches grown in Washington were sold fresh. Meanwhile, most peaches used for processing in the United States primarily came from California. 
In recent years, Georgia peaches have been celebrated as the best tasting in the United States. While other states may produce more peaches, just one bite of a Georgia peach reveals the difference in flavor and quality, making it the top choice for peach lovers seeking that perfect sweet taste. The process from when peaches are picked to when they're packaged in the factory is truly a series of meticulous and precise steps. After being harvested, the peaches are quickly transported to the factory to ensure freshness. The time from harvest to the packaging line is typically under 24 hours, helping to preserve the flavor and quality of the final product. At the factory, peaches go through stages of cleaning and sanitizing to completely remove dirt and bacteria. Thousands of peaches move along conveyor belts each hour, at speeds reaching up to 5,000 peaches per hour in large facilities. Each peach is automatically sorted based on size, color, and ripeness. Peaches that meet quality standards continue to the packaging line, while those that don't make the cut may be used for other products, such as canned peaches or juice. Before packaging, peaches are manually inspected by staff to ensure each one meets the highest quality standards. Once packed, they are labeled with information on origin, expiration date, and a barcode for easy traceability. Each day, an average factory can package between 20,000 and 50,000 pounds of peaches to meet market demand. Peach prices in Georgia range from 80 to 90 cents per pound, depending on the season and quality. The journey from lush green fields to sweet packages on supermarket shelves is truly a complex process requiring modern technology and the dedication of hundreds of people at each stage. Did you know that after about 13 to 15 years, peach trees are replaced with new ones? This is an endless cycle, bringing steady and reliable harvests, and that's the journey of peaches. So what do you think about the process of growing and harvesting peaches? Did anything surprise you? Please leave your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our journeys. And if you thought the journey of peaches was already impressive, get ready to be amazed because plums in California have an equally fascinating story. Let's keep the adventure going as we head to the sun-drenched plum orchards of California. Did you know that California produces 95% of the total plums in the United States? That's right. With around 125,000 acres dedicated to plum trees, California is truly the plum capital of the country. These orchards are a paradise for fruit lovers. So, what makes this place a hotspot for the plum industry? Let's find out. Like other fruit trees, plum trees are planted in the fall. This allows the trees to develop roots before the growing season begins. In the U.S., plums are primarily grown in California due to the state's ideal climate and soil conditions. California's Mediterranean climate with warm winters, dry summers, and low humidity is perfect for plum cultivation. Additionally, California's soil is often nutrient-rich and well-draining, which helps plum trees thrive. These young plum trees typically take about four years to grow from planting to harvest. Isn't it amazing to think that in just a few years, these small trees will be laden with ripe, juicy plums? Winter is a crucial time on the farm. This is when plum trees receive special care through careful pruning. 
Not only does this help control their growth, but it also boosts productivity for the next season. It's like giving the trees a fresh start every year. Have you ever wondered what happens when spring arrives? That's when things really get exciting. By mid-February, these plum orchards come alive. Truly, millions of honeybees are brought in to pollinate the blossoms. It's a sight you have to see to believe. And the fragrance here is absolutely amazing. Have you thought about visiting the orchards during blossom season? Trust me, you won't regret it. You'll be captivated by the breathtaking beauty of millions of white flowers paired with the gentle aroma wafting through the air. It's truly an unforgettable experience. Of course, with all this new growth, the challenge is protecting the young buds. Farmers here use a special biological spray to prevent pests, ensuring the plums grow healthy. Then, over three months after the blossoms first appear, we finally see ripe plums on the trees. This is the busiest time on the farm, with around 10,000 workers working hard to harvest the plums. It's no easy task since plums are very soft and bruise easily. See that man over there? He's wearing a hat, long sleeves, and a shoulder strap, looking like a true professional, right? He carefully picks each plum off the tree, and these plums are truly amazing, juicy and a gorgeous deep purple color. In 2023, the United States produced about 390,000 tons of plums. Sounds like a lot, but it's actually only 1 17th of China's output, the world's largest plum producer. Crazy, right? However, California plums are renowned worldwide for their sweet and nutritious flavor. As a result, the state exported around 60,000 tons of plums to major markets like Europe and Asia. This proves that California plums are consistently highly valued by consumers around the globe. After harvesting, the plums go through a processing stage. Each plum is carefully washed, sorted, and prepared for packaging. Have you ever tried dried plums? They're not only a delicious snack, but also incredibly healthy. Typically, plums destined to become dried plums are harvested using machinery, to save time and effort. The equipment used includes tree shakers and collection systems for gathering fallen fruit. The tree shaker vigorously shakes the tree trunk, causing the plums to fall, and the collection system quickly and efficiently picks them up. Let's take a look at the efficiency of these harvesting machines. Now let's talk about what happens next. These plums are taken to processing facilities where they are transformed into delicious dried plums. Fresh plums are thoroughly washed and then dried to perfection, creating a wonderfully sweet and rich flavor. Let me know in the comments if you're a plum lover, how do you enjoy them the most?
They've gone through an exciting journey from the planting and care of plum trees to their harvest and processing. Through this, we've seen the dedication and hard work of the farmers and workers at the plum farms in California. The fresh and delicious plums we enjoy every day are the result of that effort. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to follow the channel so you won't miss more fascinating videos about agriculture and incredible farms around the world. See you in the next video.